Ball, 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 ball. All the balls. It's another magic Monday. Guys, it's December. Yay! It snowed today. You wouldn't know it anymore. Look, there's our little winter wonderland right there. There it is. Doesn't it just make you want to build a snowman? <sighs> Sorry, spinning got me all out of breath. A little out of shape. <laughs> Katie and I did discuss doing Vlogmas, but because we live in different towns, we're about half an hour away from each other. Um, we can't really organize that well, so any of the videos we have been able to do, we uh, really had to plan things. So we decided we would just keep with our weekly schedule, but have something festive for you guys. So we're going to do a tag devoted to all of your Christmas tree decorations. What it's going to be is just a series of questions and uh, you can show off your favorite ornaments and stuff. Katie and I are doing this tag together but separately at the same time. So I'm going to show clips from mine and Katie's going to also have some clips involved in this video as well. So you are going to see two trees in this video. Lucky you! Hey guys! Welcome to my tree! Ah. I have a tiny, tiny house, but I didn't want to sacrifice and have a tiny tree, so it is legit touching the ceiling. Worth it. Let's get down to it. In our house, I kind of have to go by the rules. Uh, Tom's birthday is actually November 29th, and he's not really into sharing his birthday with a bunch of festive decorations that aren't birthday related. So I have to wait until after November 29th to put up the Christmas tree. It's a rule in our household. Um, I generally just go the extra day and start on December 1st. This year I think I did start on the 30th, but I didn't actually quite get it finished, so it was officially done on December 1st. So, that's pretty much when it goes up. When I used to live with my parents, uh, we used to put it up two weeks before Christmas because we got a real treat. Um, but since this is my first year living in my own place, I got way too excited, bought a fake tree and put it up in like the middle of November. <laughs> Whoops. One thing I absolutely love having going on while I'm setting up my tree is one of my favorite Christmas movies. Uh, I usually put on all of the other reindeer just because it has really fun Christmas music. Um, so I'll pop that in the DV player or whatever and set up the tree to it and just kind of sing and dance along. And if uh, usually the tree does take a little longer to set up, so I'll just pick another Christmas movie to put on in the background and just fill me with all that. Holiday goodness inside it makes me happy. Usually the tradition is me and Kenny argue about how to set up the tree and then the garland and the lights and everything like that. And that was no different this year either. So I have a couple milestone ornaments. One is this one here that was given to me by my grandma. This was when I got the second step of my license uh, back in 2010, you can see there. Um, so it was when I was actually able to legally drive by myself. So there's a picture of me and my dog in my car. And it's like a little key, key fob combination. And it's really cute. And I also have, from when we went on our Disney moon, our little happily ever after ball, and I did right on the back, our wedding year, so that's a very special one. Not gonna lie, that totally dropped the other night and I just had a heart attack. I just caught it, so it's okay. Yay! This is from Cheryl. It is from Christmas last year. 
I bought a house in December of last year. It's almost one year since I bought that house. And she got me this ornament and it says new home and then it says 2014. So the oldest ornament in my possession is this little daisy duck. When I was little, I had like a miniature Christmas tree in my bedroom that my mom would put up for me every year. And it had a set of all these different Disney characters playing instruments. And for some reason, I don't know where all the rest went, but this is the last one I can find. And so uh, this is my oldest ornament. I think it was from like maybe you know, really early 90s, somewhere in there. So, here's my little Daisy with her harp. This is my oldest. My aunt got it for me. And it's a little bell. Two Christmases ago, my aunt and uncle from Ohio got me this Princess Jasmine ornament from the Disney store. I like it because she's very floofy and sparkly. So I'd have to say that this one is my favorite because it's Barbie. It's got her little head there. It's a chandelier. And it's got little shoes on it. I always love this one. It's so pretty. In addition to our Disney Moon ornament, I also have this really cute sand dollar ornament that I actually just got maybe about two weeks ago. Tom and I went and checked out uh, Ripley's Aquarium in Toronto and uh, they had this really pretty sand dollar ornament. So I thought that was a good way to commemorate the trip. Uh, not to mention that sand dollars are kind of special to me for just personal reasons. So I thought it was nice to have it for the tree. I didn't buy anything when I went to Disneyland for Christmas because I guess Christmas had just ended and I didn't even think about it and I totally should have. So I don't have any souvenirs for my tree yet. Yet! Can't wait. I will buy so many. It was actually the same weekend away that I found the sand dollar ornament that I found this Aladdin ornament and uh, I got it on sale for their, I think it was a Black Friday or some kind of sale that they had at the Disney store. And they had all their ornaments for $10. This was the only Aladdin one left so of course I had to snatch it up. But I took it home and I was thinking, oh yeah this is really pretty, I can't wait to put it on the tree and I noticed how heavy it was and then I turned it over and there's a button. So of course when I pushed it. I had no idea it did that until I took it home. I was so excited! The only thing that makes noise or does anything fun would be this little guy here. It's just a bell. I don't have anything that's super crazy, which is weird. I should. I'm gonna get some. So this and the sand dollar are my newest ornaments. As I may have mentioned, they're only a couple weeks old. My newest ornament is this. I actually just bought it a couple weeks ago. I had to take it off the tree just so you could see how cool it is. It's got like a gradient thing going on and little sparkly bits all over the place. and It's so fun. I used to have a ton of handmade stuff on the tree, but the problem was I made it with a hand-baked clay. But I guess when it got moisture in storage, it just kind of ruined them. They just exploded. So I do have one piece from something I made for Tom, I think about probably 
five years ago or so, um, but it still looks like the day I made it, so I can show you that one. It's this little papercraft Hyrulean shield. It's super light. I am amazed that it hasn't been vented in yet because it's hollow. This was, I was planning originally to make like this massive paper statue, but this was the only thing that ended up succeeding out of it. So the fact that this has lasted as long as it has, I'm very impressed. In high school, I had this frame that you're supposed to put a picture in. I put a picture of Green Day. I cut them out and put them in because family, no, Green Day, yes. This one was a hard one to decide on. I would say, if we're talking Disney, my favorite character is Genie. So in that case, no, I don't have him on my tree yet. He is one that I would really like to add to the tree, but I haven't found one yet. But I do have some others that are kind of my backups. You did see Jasmine and Jasmine and Aladdin earlier. They're definitely on my favorites list. I also have some Little Mermaid ornaments. Here she is with her Eric statue. And then I have my Lilo and Stitch ornaments as well. They are some of my favorites. Oh, and Patrick King, because, you know. Go Hawks, go! So I did have an ornament of Rapunzel that Cheryl actually brought me from Disney World from her trip, but it broke. So I guess the next best thing would be Ariel. So those are our trees. We hope everyone enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So with this being a tag, we gotta tag some YouTube friends. We are tagging that one couple TV, and we're also going to tag the Disney Double Dose and Disney at Heart. Hopefully they have a chance to get involved as well. Everyone is welcome to do this tag, and if you do, please let us know down in the comments below. We'd love to see them. And as far as us and our holiday videos, you can actually check us out again later this week, but we're gonna be over on Walt's Classics channel. Um, we have a fun little thing uh, involved for her vlogmas. So check us out over there in the next few days. And we wish you a Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Bye! Bye!